I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Kanye West is sharing some very shocking, never before heard details about his late mother Donda's passing, and he claims she was sacrificed for his fame. The idea that in order to make it in Hollywood, you literally have to sacrifice someone you love has been around for decades. But we don't often hear a major celebrity openly talk about this. So what exactly did Kanye reveal about sacrificing his mom? You're in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that. As you all know by now, Kanye West has been effectively blacklisted by the entertainment industry and canceled by corporate America following his remarks about Jewish people. Virtually every company has cut ties with Kanye, including his longtime collaborator Adidas. And according to multiple reports, Kanye lost as much as 75% of his net worth in just two weeks following his comments about the Jewish community. But despite losing his platform, multiple lucrative business deals, and more than half his money, Kanye is still not backing down. In fact, it looks like he won't rest until he completely exposes the dark side of Hollywood. In a recent interview by the Daily Stardust, Kanye made some very shocking claims about the entertainment industry, and he said the only reason he's being canceled is because, unlike most celebs, he refuses to be controlled. They can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. But that's not all Kanye said. He also touched on a very interesting topic about Hollywood sacrifices and claimed that his own mother was sacrificed for his fame. Now, before we get into what Kanye said about his mom's passing, let's go over some context because this is not the first time we're hearing that Donda West lost her life under suspicious circumstances. Dr. Donda West passed away unexpectedly on November 10th, 2007 at age 58 as a result of complications from multiple cosmetic procedures. The autopsy report states that multiple post-operative factors could have played a role, but it also says that there is no evidence of surgical or anesthetic misadventure or any other surgical procedure problem. The deputy medical examiner, Luis Pena, also wrote in the report that the manner of death could not be determined. After the coroner's report was issued, authorities in Los Angeles launched an investigation and found out that the plastic surgeon, Dr. Jan Adams, who operated on Kanye's mom had previous convictions for DUI and at least two major malpractice settlements. Dr. Adams also showed some strange behavior in the weeks following Donda's passing. For example, on November 20th, 2007, he walked off Larry King Live and refused to answer questions about Donda's surgeries. And just a few things having nothing to do with them. Don't you want to speak out? No. You don't want to? No. I do not. All right, so she came here to speak out. That's correct, but I'm gonna honor their wishes. He then returned to the show in January 2008, claiming he was there to defend himself, but he once again refused to discuss the details of Donda's death, and he brought along his lawyer who interjected as soon as Larry asked if something went wrong during the surgery. Did the autopsy clear you of any involvement, do you think, in her death? I think the autopsy speaks for itself, period. You know, you know, Larry, if I can jump in here for one second, one of the things that I wanted to, to address here today is you can, you can say things about me, I can say things about you, and people can say things about each other out on the street, but Dr. Adams is a physician, and because he's a physician, uh, he's in a position where he is not able to comment on any care or any discussions that he's had with any of his patients, including um, uh, uh, Dr. West and any other patient. And because Dr. Adams refused to give any details about Donza's surgical procedures and given his previous DUI arrest and lawsuits, a lot of people concluded he was responsible for Donda's passing. But then the story took another bizarre turn when Dr. Adams appeared on Inside Edition and claimed that Kanye knows the real truth about his mother's passing, which brings us to the whole Hollywood sacrifice thing. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Donda West survived the surgery very well. She was at home. Did anything during that surgery go wrong? No, 
Were there any complications during the surgery? No. Was there anything prior to the operation that gave you pause about operating on this woman? No. Dr. Adams pointed the finger at Kanye's cousin, Stephen Scogans, a registered nurse who allegedly was taking care of Donda after her surgery. And according to Dr. Adams, Stephen left Donda unattended after someone gave her 20 painkillers. Her nurse wasn't there. Her nurse was gone to a baby shower rather than taking care of his aunt. This lady shouldn't be dead. All you had to do is sit her up. And every nurse on the planet knows that. Her caregivers gave her, whoa, 20 Vicodin tabs in less than 20 hours. Now, as far as Stephen, he strongly denied Dr. Adams' allegations and showed an email exchange with Donda on the evening before she passed, seemingly proving he was actually in charge of her recovery and he was also cleared of any wrongdoing following an official investigation by the authorities. As you can see, there are a lot of strange things surrounding Donda West's passing. But if everything Dr. Adams said is true, then Kanye knows the real truth about what happened to his mom. Interestingly, in April 2018, Kanye claimed the cover of his eighth studio album, Love Everyone, would be a photo of Dr. Adams, and he said he wanted to send the message to forgive and stop hating, implying that he didn't really believe Dr. Adams was to blame. But if Dr. Adams wasn't responsible, then who was? Does Kanye know something about his mom's passing that's hidden from the public? Well, here's where things get really weird. While talking to the Daily Stardust, Kanye said his mom was sacrificed, and then he went on to mention several other celebrities whose loved ones died under suspicious circumstances. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, we appreciate Michael you. Michael Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize, they want to monetize and traumatize. Now, it's important to point out that there are a lot of conspiracy theories about ritual sacrifices in the entertainment industry that are completely unhinged. But we also have to remember that things like MK Ultra were once considered to be conspiracy theories until the CIA admitted they actually secretly funded mind control experiments. And considering that Hollywood has always been closely intertwined with the government, it's safe to assume that all kinds of dark and sinister things happen in the entertainment industry that most people don't know about. Speaking of mind control, Kanye also recently exposed celebrity personal trainer Harley Pasternak for threatening to institutionalize him. On November 4th, Kanye shared texts sent to him by Pasternak, and in one of the texts, Harley gave Kanye an ultimatum, telling him he was either going to sit down and have an open conversation with him, or he will send him to a mental institution. Second option, I have you institutionalized again, where they can medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. And if you're wondering how can a personal trainer have a major celebrity institutionalized on a whim, well that's where the story gets even scarier. It didn't take long before internet sleuths discovered that Harley Pasternak used to be employed by the Department of National Defense with the Canadian government and worked at a military facility that performs research into different psyops for the purpose of influencing human behavior. But then as soon as this information went viral on Twitter, this part about Harley's past employment disappeared from his Wikipedia page. By the way, the first time Kanye was placed on an involuntary psychiatric hold was back in 2016. And what's bizarre is that the incident happened at Harley Pasternak's house. So as you can see, there are a lot of weird and scary things going on in Hollywood. And whether Kanye is telling the truth about his mom being sacrificed for his fame or not, it doesn't really change the fact that the entertainment industry has a very dark side. As for the fans' reaction to Kanye's recent comments about his mom's passing, a lot of people are standing behind Kanye and praising him for having the courage to speak publicly about this. One Twitter user wrote, Kanye said his mom was a sacrifice. He really spilling the beans. This man putting his life
life on the line and our people still believe in he's not for the people? How can you hate this man? And another person said, Kanye broke out the MK mind control and trying to find peace with God because he sold his soul. Now he's given names and basically telling you in order to be in Hollywood, you have to sacrifice, literally. People love calling Kanye crazy until he's right, and he's right. However, there are also a lot of people who still claim that Kanye is crazy and they actually want to see him institutionalized. One person tweeted, someone on here said Kanye needs to be under conservatorship, and I couldn't agree more. Dude's lost his marbles. One Twitter user wrote, Kanye West needs to be institutionalized now. But what do you think about Kanye saying his mom was sacrificed? Let us know in the comments below, and if you thought this story was shocking, wait till you see this next video.